go. Today we're going to assemble the chalk display. It's a convertible type. Here we have all the components laid out. We have our base, four trays, six jack fillers, six bottom can fillers, nine center supports, a brochure holder and a brochure holder insert. We have two pieces for the top riser and a header. First thing we do is we look at the tray. We're either going to have the print on it or they'll be plain. That's the front of the tray. And if they're not printed, you have a wider fold here and the shorter ones in the back. We can pre assemble the back of the trays just by tucking in and rolling over. With that, we can take the base open it up have these flaps roll over on top of these flaps same on the opposite side we can tuck these flaps in and roll this over that will be your bottom tray we are going to do the same for the remaining trays. But at this point we're going to insert the center supports. This is the center support. You just fold it around and this lock tab will go under here. We will have the open joint towards the back of the display coming from underneath. And we will assemble three of those. With them attached, we'll be able to set this into the other tray with these flaps being folded back. At that point we'll repeat with the flaps going in here. These flaps could be in there out of your way. And just roll it over. For demonstration purposes I found some stuff off the floor that were printed upside down. Remember that the slots go in the bag and they go underneath. You can pre assemble this if it makes it better for you. inside here. If you can get those inside these, that would be great, but if not, it's not a big deal. Again, repeat, folding the flaps in, rolling it over, and we have one more tray.
this point, we have the bottom can risers. You'll have a lock and a slit on one side. These fold around and will lock together. Those just go on the bottom of each tray. You should have six of them. And then we have a back filler. It's easier if you put, it'll be longer left to right, shorter up and down. If you put it towards the back, and then fold that bottom flap and then stand it up and push it back. The bottom portion is complete. Tuck everything in, make it nice and neat. At this point, we can tuck these flaps in. It's okay to bend these flap tabs inside. It's not going to hurt it. And then tuck the back piece down. Then we have the two top risers. The one with the cutout in the corner will go into the back. And the one without, you'll fold these together, using the side of the tray to fold it together. They will go together like that. Now for the brochure holder, you're going to fold these two flaps in, fold it in, and insert these locks. And these two little tabs will go in and fold that over and stick it right in the corner. The insert just folds in, locks in the side, and that should fit in inside there. Like that, and you'll insert your brochures. And then the header, I like to put the two outside pieces in and the center piece out. And that will be for the one version. For the convertible version, we are going to remove this, remove the brochure holder, and insert it here for the second version, and possibly replace the header. Thank you.